Don't let the curls fool you. Okay, link to check. Link to check. Can you see? Boom, boom, boom. Keep it going. I got some, I got some length going on over here. It's going all the way down to my neck. Look at that. Bam, bounce back. Shirley Temple in this piece. Now I got donuts, I got custard. I got burgers, bring that mustard. I want million subs and views. Where's my crab? Keep them clustered. I got hot wings, extra spicy. You know I make it hot. I got my bits coming all week. Hit that bell so you can watch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the belly of Sorelli. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Sorelli Eats. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because we are eating over here. I got a little bit of a seafood boil, but I also felt like getting some Chinese food. I have some Chinese food on the side as well. Um, there's a local place here in Arizona called Lee's Garden. And they I, every time I go there, they've never had this before, but they actually had like a little crab pan where they said, hey, you get a pound of crab, We'll give you some broccoli and some lemon. I said, hey, why not try it? It's still seafood boil. I feel like they just kind of did their own little twist to it. I got some barbecue ribs because those are banging all the time. I have some crab rangoon. I have some shrimp with garlic sauce. Uh, I made some jalapeno butter for my crab legs. Uh, they hooked it up with some sweet and sour sauce, some duck sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, and they gave me chopsticks. I'm not even going to disrespect you guys in trying to learn how to do chopsticks. I'm going to leave those right there. And they gave me a lot of white rice. Drink of choice, boop, high quality H2O. So uh, let's get it rolling. I am hungry. And all of this was under like $32 before uh, tip and tax, you know. So it was pretty good. A pretty good deal. Let's go ahead and start off with something crunchy. A little crab rangoon. You see that? A little flaky, a little crispy. Let's just all on its own. Mm -hmm. I apologize in advance. The AC is on and I would turn it off, but then I'd be sweating. It's true, shrimp and garlic sauce. It's just shrimp with veggies and like a spicy garlic sauce, but so pretty hot. Taste that gang. You see that plump shrimp right there? That's all us. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. A little different angle today. Just trying something new. I'm talking about how I can't use chopsticks. I can barely use a fork right now. Let's get into these crab legs. Let me just say, they said a pound, and I've been getting a pound from like Hot and Juicy, Angry Crab, and they have been slacking. This pound looks pretty, pretty good. And they season it with Obey. Can't even be upset. Oh, look at that jalapeno butter I miss that that's banging so happy Sunday evening because it's been a while since I posted hopefully you all are blessed and highly favored chilling having a good day I have been working like crazy. I am a trainer at work, so I train new hires. So, just been training all these new people. Look at that. When's the last time I had jalapeno butter? It's been a minute. Taste test gang, just give it a try. No gimmicks, just jalapeno butter and some snow crab. I miss that. Definitely miss that. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I got a little bin down there. I'm not throwing it on the ground.
I'm gonna try and bite that. Mm hmm. Little crab claw. I like this angle. It's a little different. I was actually watching a uh, Tay from Tay and Lou, and she had like a little bit of a side angle, and I felt like compelled to try because it, it, it looked like it was just natural. I know, don't bite it, don't bite it. I'm hard at it. Boom, boom, boom. So I apologize for going. I think I got crab on my face. I'll find it after I edit, I guess. It's probably on my forehead for all I know. I know I look a little different since the last time I had a video. Hair wise, anyway. But just switching it up a little bit. That was a sweet piece of crab right there. Let's get this leg and then I'm gonna hop into these ribs. That just look divine. snap mama it's okay that was my bad wow wow we wow but i'm back on my little youtube game just gotta remember i don't do youtube for money because bleed it or not not everybody gets paid buku bucks on youtube and to be honest since i took a little hiatus i don't even really get paid from youtube so right now i'm only getting my bag from work which is fine getting my little 401k or whatever they call or Roth. i don't know just putting money in it because they told me to. But obviously, I have been on TikTok. I try and get on Instagram. Sometimes it's just so hard. I'm not a picture taking person. Small rib, but look at that rib. Look at this glistening. The sauce they put on it. I don't know. I know what they say barbecue sauce, but this is like a this is a different type of sauce, man. Take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite too. Let's go. I love this. I don't eat ribs all the time, but I'm a proper person. That likes ribs that kind of give you a little bit of a fight. I'm not too much keen on fall off the bone. I like a little, little, I don't know, a little rough and tough, a little foreplay or whatever. Uh, that's probably not the best word to say, but I just like tougher ribs. But that's just me. That's just me. Let's see if this broccoli is worthy. Pretty good. Let's douse it in some sugar. Even better. Let's douse it in some butter with a jalapeno. Highly recommend bomb. I'm not a huge rice eater, so that may go untouched. But 
we're gonna see how the video goes, but I'm not a huge rice eater. Got some lemon for the lemon lovers. They hooked it up. This is a huge bang for your buck. Like this whole pan right here was $20. 20 bucks. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Hands are a little messy, but I told them that I wanted Obey on it, so I'm cool with that. Oh, you know what? I think later I can take this cluster meat and put it with the rice and have a meal like that. So that way the rice doesn't go to waste. I'm not about wasting food. but they are called Lee's Garden. If you are in Arizona, I will put them in the description down below. They are super clean, super cool. Little Chinese restaurant. Check them out. These pieces aren't breaking that easy. It's like it's a little overcooked. I have crap everywhere. Oh my God. What you up to? What you doing? Seen any movies lately? The movie theaters are open here. I don't know who's been going to them. I've gotten used to streaming that I don't even bother thinking about the movie theaters anymore. So a new movie is out, chances are there's a streaming platform that has it available. Either for free or for a small price. And I'm sure some people doing a bootleg. Maybe. Oh, you can't really do a bootleg if the theater's not opening everywhere. But last week, I went to uh, Las Vegas, and let me tell you, I don't know what's going on in Las Vegas. Like, it was a different scene. I know you guys have maybe seen the news about fights and stuff happening in Las Vegas and, and shootings and everything, and I'm like, people don't know how to act. And when I went to Las Vegas, I could tell. It was gonna be an interesting time. I originally stayed at the, uh, I think it's called Harrah's or Haraz in Vegas. And that day I realized I'm not gonna keep staying at this hotel because you're supposed to wear like your mask completely over your face. There weren't that many people doing it. So, literally that day, I uh, I called, because I have a host for whenever I go to uh, Las Vegas. It sounds fancy, but it's just someone that kind of looks out for you a little bit. I called and said, hey, I got to get out of this hotel. 
because the scene is it just ain't it. And uh, I asked her if I could go to like Caesars or something like that. And she got me a room at Caesars and we just bounce up out of there. Caesars was a little bit, was a little busier, but Caesars was awful. Caesars was nice. And when I go to Las Vegas, um, I know people go to like gamble, drink. I'm not a, I'm not a huge drinker. I may partake a little bit, but I'm not, a, I'm just not huge on drinking. I'm just like a lightweight. After like three drinks. Take me home because I'm done but I go to Vegas more to kind of play and eat I eat a ton of food and whenever I go to Vegas I always go to the buffets I couldn't I couldn't get a table at a buffet I needed a reservation so I ended up eating whatever my current casino had and most buffets aren't even open. I think there's two. There's the Wynn. And there's the Cosmopolitan. And I'm just schooling you if you don't go to Vegas. Or if you plan on going to Vegas anytime soon. Just, just so you know, that scene is something else. People are on the little motorized scooters, the little wheelchair things. People are on there. And if you're not careful, they will tear your ankles up because they will run you over and not even not even apologize. Not even. The police were all over the strip. I mean, they weren't really doing too much. But they were there. People fighting. And oh yeah. That was the sweetest piece I've eaten this entire time. Everything's been good. That was the sweetest piece. I'm so sorry. I should I should have offered you. But I love going to Las Vegas. I think it's super fun. And I was originally going to like film my eating, film everything. <laughs> I could not find the proper time, proper place to do it. Because I felt so I felt so just different. I still enjoy myself. And next time I go, I'm gonna book a buffet ahead of time because buffets are all closed except for two from my understanding. Two from the strip. A little jalapeno, a little snow crab. Mm -hmm. but that was my idea of Vegas it, it was fun like if you plan on going you'll find a way to have fun they're trying to kind of get things back on a normal basis I mean I don't know about normal, maybe you should have to wear a mask. Some places you can't smoke still. Uh, ooh, let's try it in this sauce. I know some of y'all wanted that. Ooh, it's gonna drip. All right, taste this game. Let's give this a try. That was good. Can't even lie. I, I'm a sweet person, so I like sweet stuff. But that was good. Crab is good on its own. But if you have a nice sauce too, it's like you have different meals. That was pretty good. I give it that. Anyway, let me know if you live in Vegas and you know what I'm talking about. Or let me know if you've gone to Vegas since the pandemic has happened uh, to visit the Strip. Some hotels still aren't open, but the places that I normally go to they were open. I just didn't get to partake in any buffets. 
which is my favorite part of going to Vegas. And I do have another trip planned. Two trip planned. I have one for Vegas and one for California. Like a LA area. Wait, LA area? I don't know if it's LA or not. I think so. I, I, I don't really go to California that much, so I don't know how big LA is, but I think it's in the LA area. No. A little shrimp and broccoli right there. Mm. I need another rib. Nah, I want this one. I want this Mac Daddy right here. Gonna get a little messy. But you see this? Little masterpiece right here. I know it's pork, and I, I, I cannot stand pork. But these ribs, they sprinkle a little magic on them. All right. Can't even deny. Mm-hmm. love it this is bomb where did i eat at in vegas i ate at a chinese food place in vegas it was all right um and i also tried shaquille o'neal's uh chicken place i think it's called big that was pretty good too um it was it's off the strip though so if you want to leave the strip, don't even bother. But, oh, get this. The Vegas Strip felt like, if you've ever gone to Fremont, and you just kind of get that vibe of like, hey, there's a different, there's, there's, there's some different people over here. It's not bad, not that good, but it's not bad. That's how the Vegas Strip felt. Vegas Strip felt like Fremont. No disrespect. It's just different like scenes. Where if you want to go to Fremont, you kind of know what to expect. When you go to Vegas, you kind of know what to expect. Nah. This Vegas Strip was Fremont. I should have just gone to Fremont. Somebody wanted my rib, and they made me drop it on the floor. I will pick it up in a minute. If you wanted a rib, all you had to do was be like, Sorelli, can I have a rib? And then I would have been like, yeah, of course. Bone, apple, tea. Now, I have a rib on the floor. I'm eating Rangoon. Very sweet. I like how I say very sweet, and then I get sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. I am very satisfied. You see, they're still warm. I think you see maybe you can see little specks of crab meat some cream cheese and whatever else they put in these let's kick it up a notch why not
crab rangoon with some jalapeno. If this is good, like I think it is, I invented something, you saw it here first. Mm. Yep. I invented that. Patent pending now. Delish. Some carrot, some shrimp, some onion. Some broccoli. Mm -hmm. Let's finish this off with a drink of water of high quality H2O. That's gonna go into it for today's video. Hopefully it's a little short and sweet, but I got on a rant when I got talking about Vegas. But uh, trust me, none of this is gonna go to waste. It's gonna get eaten probably the next like hour. Uh, maybe warm it up a little bit. But I love you all. Road to 10K still on the way. Thank you so much for your patience with me. I really appreciate it. I'm still a young adult getting my life together. Uh, maybe by the time I'm like, 44 i'll have my ish together but for right now i'm just going with the flow seeing where the vibes take me you know i love you remember when i eat you eat we all eat together go ahead and cue that outro in a weird place look at me can't even steer straight look at my fear face can't even fake it for one day Look at the sunset, yeah, feeling my unrest. Ooh, I am not done yet. No, I cannot run yet. In a weird place, look at me.